Welcome to UFly UAS Tutorials. In today's session, I will guide you through the complete process of sharing your drone 3D models with clients online, completely free of charge. Thank you for all the support and the incredible feedback on these 3D photogrammetry video tutorials. Your support is truly appreciated. If you've been following all of my 3D photogrammetry tutorials, you already know how to create a model like the one shown here. In this tutorial, we will focus solely on how to share your completed 3D models with clients online. If you want to learn how to create these 3D models from start to finish, please check the video description for the links to those tutorials. Now that we have our 3D model created, we can move on to sharing it with a client. To do this, click on Workflow and then select Share. Once the Share menu opens, choose the option labeled Upload to Sketchfab. This will allow you to publish your 3D model online so your client can easily view it. If you're not familiar with Sketchfab, it is a platform owned by Epic Games where you can host, display, and even sell your 3D models. Sketchfab is widely used across the 3D community and is one of the most popular places to showcase or distribute your work. You typically have three main options on Sketchfab. You can sell your 3D models, offer them as free downloads, or simply display them without allowing downloads. This makes it a versatile platform for both professional use and client presentations. I have provided the link to Sketchfab in the video description where you can sign up for a free account. The free plan allows you to upload up to 10 models per month, which is more than enough for the average user. And if you choose to make your 3D models downloadable, those uploads do not count toward your 10 model monthly limit. This gives you even more flexibility, allowing you to upload additional models as long as they are available for download. Now that we have that out of the way, let's continue with the process of sharing your model on Sketchfab. Go ahead and click Upload to Sketchfab to begin the upload process. The first time you do this, you will be presented with two options. You can either log into Sketchfab if you already have an account, or you can simply create a new account directly from this window. Once you have created your account, or if you already have an existing one, make sure you log in to authorize the request from RealityScan. This authorization allows RealityScan to upload your models directly to Sketchfab. Oops, I forgot I didn't sign up with an email. I created my account using Google, so let me click the Google option instead. Now that the authorization request from RealityScan is displayed, I can go ahead and click Accept. You should now see a success message. You can now close this window and continue in RealityScan. In this window, you can see that you are now working inside your own account, as indicated by your account name in the top corner. This page allows you to give your model a title, write a description, and add tags to help categorize your 3D model before uploading it to Sketchfab. On the Mesh Quality tab, you will see three main options, High, Medium, and Low. It is always recommended to choose High for the best balance between detail and performance. You may also notice an additional option labeled Original, which uses your full resolution mesh. If you prefer to evaluate the quality before publishing, you can leave it on Original and keep the first checkbox enabled which says, allow for simplification to fit Sketchfab file size. I'm going to try that option so I can review the model before making it public. If it looks good, then I can publish it. You can also enable all the available checkboxes if you want everything prepared and optimized automatically for viewing it on the website. Once you're ready, just click Upload. Reality Scan will begin uploading the model to the website, and once the upload is complete, it will automatically redirect you to Sketchfab. There, you will be able to watch the processing phase and see the model as soon as it finishes. In my experience, the entire process took about 10 minutes, give or take, depending on your connection and the model size. Now that the model has been uploaded, let's explore the available tools and features on the website to help you customize and present your 3D model. The main 3D window is where your client will be able to interact with the model. By default, the navigation mode is set to orbit, allowing the viewer to freely rotate and explore the 3D model from any angle. At the bottom right corner of the Sketchfab viewer, you'll find several important controls. These include the settings, which includes the navigation mode for orbiting the model, the model inspector, VR mode, theater mode, and full screen. These tools allow you to explore and analyze your 3D model in different ways. Please feel free to explore the various settings and options available for your 3D model. 
you can experiment with each feature and adjust anything you feel will enhance the presentation and overall appearance of your model. On the top right, you will find options for Edit Properties, Edit 3D Settings, and the Publish button, which will appear if your model is still in draft mode. If I continue to receive enough likes, views, and followers on these 3D photogrammetry tutorials, I will create even more beginner-friendly step-by-step guides to help you grow in this field. Make sure to watch the other tutorials available here on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. My goal is to teach you how to generate real income with your drone without wasting money on overpriced apps or expensive subscriptions that drain your budget. All you need is the right technique and the proper workflow, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. Your support motivates me to continue producing high-quality tutorials, so please consider subscribing. If you click Edit Properties, you will be able to change the title, update the description, place the model into a category, and add additional tags. This is also where you can adjust visibility settings and choose whether your model will be downloadable, available for free, or sold directly on Sketchfab. If we click back and then select Edit 3D Settings, this is where you will find a wide range of advanced controls for your 3D model. Here, you can adjust lighting, materials, filters, annotations, animations, and even virtual reality settings. Feel free to explore all the available tools and experiment with the different options to fine-tune your model exactly the way you want. This section gives you complete creative control over how your 3D model is presented. Once you are finished adjusting all your settings, you can save your changes using the button at the top right. When you are ready for the model to go live, simply click Publish to make your 3D model publicly available. I will click back and review the Edit Properties section one more time. If everything looks good, I will simply click Save and Publish. A confirmation window will appear letting me know that the model has been published, how many credits were used, and how many I have remaining. This window also provides a shareable link that I can copy and send directly to my clients. They can view the model online using any device, whether it's a phone, computer, laptop, or tablet. Now the status has changed from draft to published, and I can now click on view my model. Once your model loads, you'll see your profile name right below the 3D viewer. Under that, you'll find the options to either embed the model on your website or you can simply copy the share link and send it to anyone who needs to view your model. Sharing the link is the easiest option because it works on any platform. But if you want to showcase the model on your own website, embedding it is a great choice. It adds a more personal and professional touch to your portfolio or business page. There are tons of free 3D viewers out there. You're not limited to Sketchfab. One great example is 3dviewer.net which lets you view almost any model directly in your browser. Another powerful option is F3D from F3.app. It's completely free, open source, and you can either download the desktop app or use their online viewer. And honestly, the list goes on. If you want more recommendations, just drop a comment below. There are many free open source 3D viewers you can use to preview and share your 3D models with clients without paying a cent. If this video helped you or taught you something new, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps the channel grow and enables me to keep producing more helpful tutorials like this one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.